15 for us is jailbreak. Uh, the reason we called it 15 was because the 5 and 15 represents 5-0, the police. Okay? So, we'll show it to you only out of ace here. So, only out of ace, we're going to call 15, jailbreak to the left. The 10 designated is coming to the left. Okay? We can even tag which one of the guys... Uh, offensive players, we want to receive that, okay, and any, in any way or any shape or any form, uh, we could tag whoever we want to uh, receive the jailbreak. The play starts off for us similar to uh, the other screens. Our tailback is going to be set away, however, he's going to run bubble the opposite way. So we have six-yard curls by the Y and the R on the back side of the play. Once again, they could end up being hot, depending upon any blitzes that occur. So they have to be at the ready and run their routes hard. With our tailback swinging, our quarterback wants to take three steps and look at this. So his eyes are looking at the tailback who's running bubble. We want the defense in this manner to be reading the quarterback size and let their drops distort in that area or take them uh, to that location. Our L is going to press up and then work flat out at about two and a half yards out here. Okay, He wants to block the number one defender. The reason he wants to push up and then work out is uh, in case we get man coverage, he wants to drive the defender off and work him out, doesn't want him following to see the X coming back through. The X is going to take three steps up. He's going to retrace, and now he's going to work to the hills of the offensive lineman where they initially were set. Okay, so that's his aiming point. The linemen are going to vertically set. The tackles stay on. Okay. In this instance, they have outside leverage, so they want to wind their defender out, okay? Our guards want to vertically set three steps, okay? And then our left guard, like previous examples we showed you in the screens, he wants to work flat and work to outside backer. Our center wants to work to play side inside backer, and our backside guard wants to work to the mic or away side backer. So we see the beginnings of a wall. We're going to take two gather steps, okay? We want to throw that football right here underneath uh, this wall and then let the receiver press vertically up the field, okay? We want him to split uh, the middle of the defense. If he happens to see a seam or a bubble, just like we mentioned on other screens, he can ride the blocks of his offensive personnel or players. So it ends up almost looking like a double screen, and this is 15. Once again, once the ball is caught, we want all offensive personnel, especially the linemen, now working back downfield. Uh, if it happens to be run here now, we want to work downfield to help distort the path of defensive pursuit and also to allow us to align for the next play. Okay, so this is 15 out of ace. Simply put, if you aligned in trips, you could still run it, and then we would have two blocks on the outside with him coming under. You could solo him up by running trips the opposite way. Several examples to run it, okay?